What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at Fishing Planet. It's one of my favorite games to play based on the graphics and the realism. Um, I'm going to show you some tips on how to play this map. Today we are at Texas Lone Star Lake. And I'm going to show you some of the hot spots because there are spawns all across this lake in certain areas. And those spawns um, have a lot of fish. So I'm going to show you where to fish, how to fish, and just give you the basics on how to play this game. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have the right setup. I go with uh, either a light or a, like a feather light rod um, with a medium, pretty good reel. Um, this is a Inspirecast 3000 SE. I think I got it from buying the basic startup package, the DLC, and then um, after you have all that, um, you want your bait, if you're doing bait casting, you want a good, um, like, one-aught or lower, meaning one-aught or number one hook, number two, number three. Nothing bigger than a one knot, and I know that might confuse some people. So basically, one knot means one slash zero. Um, let me show you. So you have one slash in this case two sh two slash zero, meaning it's a pretty big hook, and then it goes up, and that's big. So you want to go the other way. It's like a number line, so you want to go one knot and then one, and then it should go two. So you want to go one knot or smaller. I'm going to show you some of the hot spots. This area right here, in between this lily pad and these ones, this little cove will hold a lot of fish, usually. Um, I like to see splashes going on. I like using a one knot to get the bass and then anything smaller. Um, I'll use a one to two hook. Uh, I think the smallest I'll go is an eight hook, but usually one to two will do for some pretty good fish. And then this area right here is another good spot for uh, sometimes bass, uh, crappy and chain pickerel, these two spots, um, and then sometimes I'll fish the middle around this lily pad, but you don't get as many fish right here, sometimes you get little chasers that will see it, um, I don't go around this because it's, it's just like snag land. You don't want to get snagged here. That's all you'll do there. Um, another spot. Sometimes I'll, f I'll fish the the bank just on the side, but there are there is grass, underwater grass that you might get snagged up. The trick to this is you want to get as close to the ground as possible so you don't get snagged on this grass. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how to fish the spot, and then we'll go to the other side of the lake. So this is probably going to be a two-part video on how to fish this. So we'll start with this nano spinner, one eighth ounce, one hook. I like using the nano spinner. They have pretty good success here, so I'll throw it out. Usually let it sink to the bottom. Cause that's where all the fish are at, or 
basically the bass are at. And then you just want to, since it's so light, you just want to reel it in, stop and go. Reel it in a little bit, let it go. Reel it in a little bit, let it go, reel it in. But I try to keep it off the ground if I could. See, I got a bite. And then when you feel a little bite, you want to pull on the the rod back so he, he hooks their mouth. So we'll keep the drag up so the line doesn't lose the fish. And look, we got ourselves a grass pickerel. Got fifty-seven dollars. I'll take that. Um, this is more of like a grindy map. So you, because you get it. What I did was, I bought the map, basically to fish here unlimited and traveling here is free. So basically I grind this map out, um, I mean it helped a lot, like when I was barely low levels, cause I didn't have to pay anything and I was just reeling them in. So you see there that that is a hot spot, I got another bite, it's 7 in the morning, the morning's too good here. Pretty good, pretty good. It's not a bass though, I like chasing bass. Because they give you a pretty good amount of money. And yeah, I just like them. Alright, so. I like jigging it sometimes. To make the the bait look live, basically. See, there was another bite. I knew there was a bite because my little meters on the side, there was some, uh, some resistance to the line. So I knew there was a fish on, and we got a spotted bass. Pretty good. And believe me, I'll show you how to do all the maps. I've been playing this game for hours, so I know all the hot spots. For example, let's just do this one right here, and then we'll get into the other hot spots in this game. See, I threw it too far, so I'm stuck in the lilies. You want to set your drag up and then just pull on it, but don't do that when you get snagged into rocks or wood because you will lose. Your, your bait. I've lost bait so many times thinking I could strong arm it and you don't want to do that. So we're using the stop and go here. So I know that I'm already in the middle of this, where I threw my line out. So I know there's not going to be much action, because I'm away from the spawn. And when I usually get like this close to myself, I know that there's not going to be a bite, so I'll just reel it in. I'm playing on console. This may be different for PC players in terms of controls. But, um, yeah. So, that's this part of the map. Okay, with feather. Featherweight, rod, bait casting. Um, we're going to do bait casting first and then I'll show you the live bait and where to throw. This here, right here, is a good spot for bluegill. Um, small hooks do good here with like a night crawler or anything small. Um, I don't believe this will catch anything, but I'll try anyways. So you, you want to throw past where the little splashes are happening because if you throw it right 
at the splashes sometimes. Well, at least in real life, you'll scare the fish. So. So doing a little stop and go. I do it this way because um, the fish, they're kind of fast, but it lets them catch up to the bait and figure out what it is. I got a bite. Oh, missed it. And my battery's low. Oh, well. Alright, so I did get a bite there, but either my hook is too big or it just wasn't it wasn't feeling the bait as much as I thought it would. So you, that's what you do in this game. You just fit. There goes another bite. So there, there are fish here. I just I'm not using the right setup. And usually you want to use a smaller hook for these bluegill. Trophy bluegill here. Um, so do something um, smaller. So you can catch them. Alright, so show you another spot here in the middle of the lake. Bass country. Y you'll see the splashes going on, but usually they're right down here, right down the middle. Not away, away from the bank, and anywhere, I guess, like. You, you don't want to throw all the way to the other end. You want to be like, from like, I guess right here, all the way down to like right here. That's bass land. Um, you just, um, jigs work good. Um, the cast spoons work really good. I'll show you what cast spoon I use for that later. This just jumped out, meaning um, you could take that for they are eating the usually insects in the air. They'll jump out, so that gives you a hint to what bait you can use. Um, there's crickets, uh, flies, etc. Insects work probably good here, but usually um, this whole spot is is good just it's snaggy you got lily pads and a lot of grass here so you want to I'll show you how to fish grass so usually I'll throw it away from the grass oh bad example all right hold on so I threw it in the grass there but just the and I let it fall to the very bottom and you could get away with not getting snagged. There was a bite there, but didn't react to it fast enough. You get away with moving through this grass without getting snagged. The leap heads suck. I guess they're the worst uh, to get snagged on. But the other grasses pretty decent you get through that pretty good so nothing there I did get a bite over there um, but usually it's right here the red deer uh, I believe sunfish loves it in the shade so usually when the sun's out this is all shady so you want to fish there I think there's bluegill here so I, fit, I threw my line there, I'm going to let it sink so I don't get snagged. So I'm just reeling it in, keeping it off the ground, but not going too fast where the fish can't grab it. I got a bite there. Oh, I got something. There you go, bluegill, bluegill country, small fish, um, panfish basically. 
so this is for this part over here and you come over here along this road who lives out here man so I'll give you a background on how I got this game I heard that it was coming to console I got it then after I I got the game, I basically turned to a fisherman, started fishing myself. So, I could say the concept of this game is pretty similar to real life, but some things just aren't, I guess, until they they figure out how to um, bring the line back in. I guess they they did with computer. They kind of changed the mechanics of the um, reeling the line back in, but um, it's it's similar. All right, so this spot right here, you'll get bass here. So just throw it in this area. I mean, you can't throw it over here, but you'll get snagged on these lilies and to, you just want to keep it as close to the ground in that case but let's see let's see what's out here see fish jumping early in the morning My favorite bait to use are jigs, man. Jigs or crankbaits do pretty well. And we'll get into that into other maps. I'll show you what baits that really hammer the fish. So nothing there. Yeah. Oh, you see that? Fish jumped out the water. So there are fish there. Um, so yeah, basically that's how this map. I mean, there are other spawn spots, but I I wouldn't fish them like constantly, especially for this grindy game. Like I wouldn't stick there for a long time, or I wouldn't count on them. There are spots over here, but. It's just, you're constantly, not unless you have, like, a good reel that, that reels in pretty good. Um, you don't want to fish these spots. And I don't, I forgot where they're at. <laughs> That's why I don't fish them. Because you gotta find them, too. And this Amazon brush... find it okay so all these little coves have fish in real life you would probably fish a frog or um, a punch jig to get through this and then see what's under these lily pads but in here you kind of just want to glide past them so the fish come out to your bait I mean that's the difference between this game and real life <laughs> until they make this game more uh, detailed and complex that's basically what you have to do so yeah thanks for watching um, leave a like comment subscribe Believe me, I'm going to have tons of these videos every day. Um, show you all the hotspots, show you how to fish, where to fish, 
and how to catch them. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.